en un estudio todo suena perfecto, todo suena ideal, todo está bien ecualizado, digamos, ¿no? Es un trabajo de cada uno, ¿no? Cada artista. En un directo uno se tiene que acostumbrar. Yo creo que es bueno, es rico, es necesario que haya errores, que, haya, que el sonido se dispare, que haya un momento en que sea caótico, que tú la puedas, te puedes confundir de tecla, de tecla o lo que sea, porque es, eres humano. Entonces, ese factor humano, yo creo que la gente que está viendo un directo lo agradece. Hola, soy Cal Vigan. Y estoy aquí a los Estados Unidos por dos semanas de gira y hoy os presentaré el nuevo setup a la Agenda Remezcla. The idea of the live set is offering something more. Something more, I mean, um, bring the song to another place. Claro que hay un salto cualitativo desde el estudio al directo, ¿no? Uno tiene que pues, eliminar elementos y seguramente potenciar otros elementos. I mean, if you have to listen the songs as, as I have it on SoundCloud, then go to SoundCloud. That's it. For um, preparing a live set, it's not just a question of okay, let's bring everything. It's just finding a way of having the best setup you can with the um, specific material you can get from your studio. This is the common setup that I use when I travel. First thing, let's go part by part. I use the Ableton Live uh, mainly as a sequencer. I have like four tracks, which I can control for audio tracks, and uh, I try to mix them live. Then, for the bass, I use this machine. Oh, this is a Blofeld from, from Waldorf. It's a really useful and practical and pragmatic machine. This is so little, and uh, I really love the sound, um, particularly the bass sound that, uh, that I can get. The mummy. <laughs> For me, is the prophet. Here is uh, the main thing that I have in the live set. Here's where I put all the pads, which for me are so important in my kind of songs. So with the prophet, what I get is this uh, kind of um, noise, this kind of texture, uh, let's say this kind of sound that I cannot get digitally. For me, it's important to have fun. In terms of MIDI, this is for me the, the MAMI as well. This is the machine I use for sending the MIDI to the Blowfoot, to the Prophet. I use it as a, as a mixer, also as a drum. Let's imagine that you have like different keyboards and you just change the, the octave of these keyboards and then you can have both synth and then you can have also drums by just changing the octave. So then. The last thing I have in my set is the chaos pads. I sense only hi-hats and high sounds and uh, I equalize it so it becomes more glitchy, like it breaks like that. I can use these um, glitchy effects as a complement of, uh, of the drums. As far as you have fun, I think that people you know, appreciate it as an artist, not just me, but everyone as an artist has to add has to propose in a live set. I would suggest you artists to go further <laughs> and just to have a fun.